Hello, Kako. Kwana here. So, posting another video for you guys since you guys like the lay making one. Um, before I say anything further, I don't make lace for self. I make lace for myself. It's what you're supposed to be, be able to do with the purpose of this video. So, show you guys how to make lay. So, you guys can make lay for yourself or for a loved one or somebody. Yeah, as a makana. So, um, today's lay I'm showing you guys how to make. It's, um, it's a style pretty well known it's called Vili with the raffia yeah you really around something but uh, right now I'm in prep stage and I wanted to show you guys this all this lao over here you get um, just to let you guys know that you can, you can make lace out of almost anything pretty much anything um, over here we have lao pala and lao malo'o so lao pala is the yellow faded one lao malo'o is the brown dried one this is not tea leaf this is maya this is banana, banana leaf. Um, I went outside looking for yellow um, tea leaf, but never have, so I'm going to pick from the banana leaf. So in order to use banana leaf to make them pliable, kind of the same thing like um, tea leaf. The yellow, and you're going to have to either iron them, put them over fire, or you can throw it in the microwave. You just got to watch it if you put it in the microwave because it might dry out. The brown leaves, um, Put them all together, soak them in water so that it comes soft and pliable. If not, it's going to be hard and crispy. And once you get them all, um, the moisture back inside of them and it becomes pliable, then you guys can start working with it. Yeah, so you know, if you hear the crunch anymore, it's all soft and pliable. So, what I'm doing right now is prep mode, getting all my lao ready together, and I'm making these right here little loke. So, my a loke, loke my a. Um, little roses out of the maya. Brown, we get browns over here, and we get yellows over here. So I'm gonna show you guys really fast how to make a rose. And you can make rose out of almost anything: ribbon, um, tea leaf, banana, obviously, um, anything that's long um, and pliable. You want the lao to be about an inch or more, under an inch and a half wide. And then you guys can start making and the longer it is the bigger your rows will be so i only need about this this is almost a foot long just under a foot but i'll show you guys how to make the rows so i don't know how to explain it so you're gonna have to watch my hand yeah twist the bottom over here i'm gonna fold down like this with an angle then you're gonna roll into the long way five times one two three four five and it looks like that then once you get five your fingertip you gotta hold the top and this one you can fold down and to your thumb so down and to your thumb so down to your thumb grab the center grab trade hands grab the center again do the same thing again down and to your thumb let go of the center grab with your right grab the center and what you just unfold again switch hands do the same thing you keep doing that, going around and around. Until your rose forms. And when you reach the end like this, only get a little bit left here. You um, don't go all the way to pow. You gotta go into get about half an inch left. You're gonna fold that down because you're gonna have to tie that off. Traditionally, we would use um, a part of the EO or the stem of whatever we're using um, to tie it but in this case I'm making fast kind so I'm using floral tape and you only need one small piece of floral tape like this put them right over here well, you got the main side you can tuck down a little bit put that right there wrap around one two three pa -a. squeeze them and pa -a. there you go my allow pala the yellow faded banana leaf and it's a rose. Okay?